Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Dr. Amna Khan. I'll be presenting a topic called malaria today under the kind supervision of my professor, Dr. Saira Afzal. The quote of the day is, with the new day comes with strength and new thoughts. Learning outlines of today's presentations are introduction, epidemiological determinants, chain of transmission and applicability, clinical manifestations, levels of prevention, recent advances, MCQs. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to understand the epidemiological determinants of malaria, clinical features of malaria, national and global malaria uh, prevention and strategy of updates. Problem statement. In 2020, there are estimated 241 million cases of malaria worldwide. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by parasites that are trans uh, transmitted to people thoughts uh, through the bites of infected female and of these mos mosquitoes. It is preventable and curable. The estimated number of malaria deaths stood at uh, 6, uh, 6, uh, 627,000 uh, 6, in uh, 2020. The WHO African region carries a disproportional, a disproportionately high share of the global uh, malaria burden. In 2020, the region was home to 95% of malaria cases and 96% of malaria deaths. Children under five accounted for about 80% of all malaria deaths in the region. Problem statement. Pakistan is considered as a moderate malaria endemic country, but still 177 million individuals are at the risk of malaria. Roughly 60% uh, of Pakistan's population live in malaria endemic regions. Introduction. Malaria is a mosquito-borne febrile disease caused by malaria parasites. Malaria, mola means bat and uh, area means air, is a protozoal infection, a disease caused uh, by the members of protozoan genus Plasmodium. Parasites affect the human liver and red blood cells. Humans are infected with Plasmodium protozoa uh, when uh, bitten by an effective female Anopheles mosquito vector. Symptoms may appear within weeks to months or even years. There are four species of malaria parasites, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium malaria. Case a study of malaria. A 67-year-old female from Western Africa initially presented to the emergency department. Patient had returned five days ago from her travel and started to develop symptoms of fevers and fatigue. Patient denied any immunizations received before traveling. Patient uh, complained, that, uh, uh, complained that she has fevers, uh, that she received before traveling, the patient complained that she has fevers were associated with headaches, chills, rigors, and or chest pain. Patient had white blood cells count of 12.6 uh, 12 uh, uh, hemoglobin, 10.7 hematocrit, 13.6 platelets, 18 blood urea nitrogen, uh, 12 creatinine, 0.3, and the blood uh, glucose of 291 consistent with diabetes. Blood smears were positive for P patient. Uh, P dot patient was started on quinine, 648 milligram, and doxycycline, 100 milligram. IV fluids. Probable diagnosis, index of suspicion for malaria was high as patient had recently traveled from an endemic region. Patient's travel history to Western Africa and the presenting symptoms also made us consider a possibility of Ebola virus disease. Specific uh, risk groups for malaria. Our study also show a high prevalence of malaria in the age group uh, more than 14 years, which is consistent with other studies in Pakistan and India. We also found a high prevalence of malaria among females than uh, the males, which is similar to another study, but differs from our study, from the other studies, non-immune pregnant women. At a global level, the most vulnerable age group to malarial deaths are children under five, year, um, five years of age. In 2019, uh, they accounted for 55% of total deaths. Epidemiological determinants. So basically, it's divided into three uh, the environmental factors, the agent factors, and the host factors. The, envi uh, uh, the, environment, the environment factors, they include the economic, geoclimatic, political, legal, sociocultural, and public health interventions. The agent factors are the pl uh, plasmodium species and the vector characteristic, uh, uh, the vectors, the mosquito characteristics. The host factors include the genetic makeup, immunological makeup, and the human characteristics. Agent factors. Agents are the malarial parasites, plasmodium, reservoir of infection, uh, a human reservoir, Types of species of the uh, parasite and the incubation periods are here. The falciparum malaria has uh, 12 incubation period, that is 9 to 14 days. The vivex has 14, that's 8 to, 7 day, 8 to 17 days. Ovale malaria, 17, that is 16 to 18 days. Quartan malaria, uh, 28, roughly 18 to uh, 40 days. Relapses. Vivex and ovale malaria tend to relapse more than three years after the patient's first attack. Recurrence of falciparum usually disappear within one to two years. P malaria has a tendency to uh, uh, the uh, to cause a prolonged low-level symptomatic parasitemia. 
Seasonal disease, July to November, man-made malaria, uh, bureau pits, garden pools, irrigation channels, vector of malaria in Pakistan. Uh, ADOT uh, acutely calcifies rural areas and uh, uh, the uh, Stephen C urban areas. The mode of transmission is the malaria is caused by a type of microscopic parasite that's transmitted most commonly by mosquito bites. Other transmission includes from mother to uh, unborn child through blood transfusions and by sharing needles used to inject drugs. The signs and symptoms of the malaria include centrally headache, the systematic fever, skins, uh, uh, the chills and the sweating, uh, the dry cough, and there is enlargement of the spleen. There would be nausea and vomiting as well, and there will be back pain as well. So uh, they will be there will be muscle fatigue and the pain. Falciparum, the uh, we have to use the for the complication of the falciparum malaria. We can use the word falciparum uh, that shows us the fever, black water, ARDS, and L for the low blood sugar, cerebral malaria infections, pulmonary edema, A for anemia, and the R for renal failure, and the U for urine output disease and metabolic acidosis. Improved surveillance of malaria cases and deaths. Uh, the surveillance improved uh, surveillance of the malaria case and deaths helps uh, the ministries of health determine which uh, which areas or population groups are most affected and enables countries to monitor changing disease patterns. Strong malarial surveillance system also help countries design effective health interventions and evaluate the impact of their malaria control programs. The classification of malarial cases are as follows: We'll classify the uh, cases on the uh, uh, on the basis of the parasitologically confirmed malaria infection which is further divided into due to the mosquito-borne transmission and not due to the mosquito-borne transmission. transmission. Then leading to the induced cases, for example, due to the blood transfusion, um, the congenital malaria. Due to mosquito-borne transmission, uh, then we further divide the cases into acquired locally and the acquired broad or outside area. The acquired locally uh, cases are further divided into the indigenous and the introduced ones, and the, uh, the acquired abroad or outside area are further divided into the imported ones. The uh, uh, local ones are further dividing uh, into the introduced and uh, indigenous. Have the following examples like the first generation local transmission epidemiologically linked to prove the imported cases, and the indigenous includes all cases without evidence of a direct link to an imported case. Then, for uh, the uh, ultimate leading to the relapsing cases and the recurrent uh, uh, cases. Measurement of malaria uh, the pre eradication uh, area, the second one is the eradication area, and then the vector indices will be there. The pre-eradication area. Magnitude of malaria was determined uh, based on the diagnosed cases. The, uh, the classical uh, malaria metric measurement R spleen rate. The second one is the average enlarged spleen and the parasitic rate. The first one is the spleen uh, rate, that is percentage of uh, children between 2 and 10 years of age showing a large bit of spleen. And the second one has the uh, average enlarged spleen. This is further uh, ref uh, refinement of spleen rate, denoting the average size of the enlarged spleen. It is a usual uh, malariometric index. The third one, uh, third one is the parasite rate, percentage of children between the ages two and 10 years showing malaria parasite in their blood films. Eradication area, the microscopic diagnosis of malaria cases be, uh, became the main method of diagnosis. The parameters used for the measurement of malaria were, most, uh, paras, uh, were mostly parasitological in nature. The following parameters are employed. The first one is the annual parasite index. Uh, B, uh, the annual blood examination rate. Then the uh, C is the annual falciparum uh, incidence. Then the slight positivity rate and the slight falciparum rate. The annual parasite uh, uh, in, uh, incidence as API is uh, basically the confirmed cases during one year per population uh, under surveillance in 2000. The annual blood examination rate are the number of slides examined per population in 2000 population. Annual falciparum incident, uh, incidence is a slight positivity rate percentage of slides found uh, the positive for malaria uh, uh, parasite irrespective of the types of species. The slide falciparum rate is the percentage of slide positives for P falciparum, uh, plas falciparum parasite. Vector indices, a malaria survey is not complete unless it includes investigations relating to the insect vector. Some of the important vector indices are the human blood index, sporozoite uh, rate, mosquito density, man biting rate, and the inoculation rate. Primary and uh, prevention and control. It includes the primary and the secondary prevention and, and the tertiary prevention. The primary prevention intervention designed to prevent the onset or future incidence of a specific problem. The secondary prevention includes an early intervention that decreases the prevalence of a specific problem. The tertiary prevention uh, treatment diagnosed uh, designed to uh, improve quality of life and reduce the symptoms after a disease or a disorder has developed does not reduce incidence or prevalence. Prevention and control. The primary prevention, health education, environment uh, modifications, and active intervention measures. 
Active intervention measures. Uh, first one is a certification of problem, essential feature of uh, for planning and development of a sound control strategy to maximize utilization of available resources. Provide guidelines as to uh, which strategy could be more suited. Vector control. The uh, the two core interventions are insecticide treated nets and uh, and indoor residual uh, springs. According to the latest World Malaria Report, 78 countries reported mosquito resistance to at least one of the four commonly used insecticide cl uh, classes in the period. Uh, 2010-2019. In 29 countries, mosquito resistance was reported to all main insecticide classes. Vaccine. Uh, since October 2021, WHO also recommends broad use of malaria vaccine. Trade name is the Moscarex among children living in regions with moderate to high P. falciparum malaria transmissions. The vaccine has uh, been shown to significantly reduce malaria and de uh, deadly severe uh, malaria among young children. Due to the low efficacy, the WHO does not uh, recommend the routine use of vaccine in babies between 6 and 12 weeks of age. Chemoprophylaxis of malaria, the recommended prevention method may, uh, may be mosquito bite prevention only or mosquito bite prevention in combination with chemoprophylaxis and or standby emergency treatment. Preventive chemotherapies, it includes uh, chemoprophylaxis, intermittent preventive treatment of infants and pregnant women, seasonal malaria, chemo uh, prevention, mass drug administration. These safe and cost effective strategies are intended to complement ongoing malaria control activities, including vector control measures, prompt diagnosis of suspected malaria, and treatment of confirmed cases with anti malaria medicines. Secondary prevention, diagnosis of malaria. Uh, uh, microscopy diagnosis would be there, and there is a uh, blood smear, fluorescent uh, microscopy, and quantitative, uh, quantitative buffy code. And detection detection includes the immunochromatic dipstick, RDT, and the serology includes IV, uh, I, uh, immunofluorescent antibodies, and the ELISA. And the molecular diagnosis includes the PCR and the real time PCR. The uh, two types of blood films for malaria parasites are thick blood smear and the thin blood smear. Thick, uh, thick blood smear includes uh, used to determine if parasite is uh, present and the thin blood smear used to confirm the plasmodium species present. Treatment of malaria in Pakistan. Uh, here's a, a picture, it's a table showing the treatment. The For the Vivex malaria, there would be uh, the radical treatment includes the chloroquine and the primiquine. Uh, that is 150 milligram base tablets and primiquine also includes 150 uh, milligram base tablets. Uh, one tablet a day for 14 days. And falciparum malaria also includes uh, uh, sulf uh, the treatment, uh, which includes uh, sulfadoxin and the artisanate. 5 milligram uh, plus 25 milligram tablets uh, of the sulfadoxin and artisanate uh, 50 milligram tablets. So that would be given on day one, day two, and day three. Treatment of malaria in children, severe malaria, uh, severe malaria immediate travel to the hospital, uh, clearing airways in unconscious pa uh, patients, giving one of the following pre referral treatment options. The A includes artisanate or artisanin 10 milligram kg uh, body weight by re uh, rectal administration. Injection RD method 3.2 uh, milligram kg per kg body weight. Uh, quinine uh, intramuscular 10 milligram salt per kilogram body weight and administering uh, anti convulsant in patients with convulsions. Approaches and strategies of malaria control in Pakistan. Malaria control activities are on ground uh, since the formulation of health services provision fundamentals outlined in Bohar's communication uh, commission in the subcontinent and in Pakistan. These are functional since 1950s through succession of different approaches. Owing the uh, two major failures in the endemic countries control programs in 1998, Roll Black Malaria Initiative was coordinated and W and signed by WHO, UNICEF, UNDP, uh, UNDP and the World Bank. Pakistan being the signatory uh, to the effect started RBM in, uh, implementation in the phased manner by um, air markings 273 million. Under 18th Amendment in the Constitution, Federal Ministry of Health, along with uh, its attached departments, including Director of Directorate of Malaria Control, were devolved on 30th June 2011. Uh, here is a pictorial representation of, uh, of the Malaria Control Strategic Plan Pakistan 2015 2020 at a glance. The goal was basically to reduce by 20, 2020, reduce the malaria burden by 75% in high and moderate endemic uh, uh, districts per agen uh, or the agencies and eliminate malaria in low endemic. The goal uh, had uh, the objectives, which are also shown here, and then, then uh, for the fulfill fulfillment of these objectives, there were further uh, the outcomes and the impacts as well. Rollback malaria, uh, malaria control added uh, impetus as initiative was launched by WHO, UNICEF, and UNDP, and World Bank in 1998. Aim was to basically reduce the deaths and incidents to 75% by 2015. The rollback malaria strategy uh, basically included the early diagnosis and prompt treatment, prevention, insecticide treating, treated materials, vector control measures, indoor spraying, larvicide, environmental um, management, prevention of malaria in pregnancy, monitoring for epidemics, rapid response, new methods and tools, improvement in uh, existing tools through research and development. 
coordinated actions through establishing partnerships with uh, that utilize an optimal mix of the measures adopted to local situations. Why did RBM fail to achieve its goals? Weak WHO leadership, dysfunctional RBM partnership. Uh, the second one was basically the wrong technical policy, lack of clear strategy, limited uh, technical expertise in countries and internationally, no effective monitoring and evaluation. WHO's global efforts to control and uh, eliminate malaria by first one was the communication, communicating and promote, promoting the adoption of evidence-based norms, standards, policies, technical strategies, and guidelines, uh, keeping independent score of global, pro, uh, global progress. The third one is developing approaches for capacity building systems, strengthening and surveillance and identifying threats to malaria control and elimination, as well as new areas for action. Elimination. Malaria elimination is defined as the interruption of local transmission of a specific malarial parasite species in a defined geographical area. As a result of deliberate activities, continued measures to prevent re-establishment of transmission as re are required. In 2020, 26 countries reported fewer, uh, fewer than 100 indigenous cases of the disease up for, uh, from six countries in 2000. Countries that have achieved at least three consecutive years of zero indigenous cases of malaria are eligible to apply for the WHO certification of malaria elimination. Since 2015, nine countries have been certified by the WHO Director General as malaria-free, including Maldives, Sri Lanka, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Paraguay, Uzbekistan, Argentina, Algeria, China, and El, uh, El Salvador. WHO Framework for Malaria Elimination. Uh, WHO response against malaria, the WHO Global Technical Strategy for Malaria 2016-2030, updated in 2021, provides a technical framework for all malaria endemic countries. The strategy sets in, uh, ambitious but achievable uh, global targets, including reducing malaria case incidence by at least 90% by 2030, reducing malaria mortality rate by at least 90% by 2030, eliminating malaria in at, uh, at least 35 countries by 2030, preventing a uh, resurgence of uh, malaria in all countries that are malaria free. Global uh, Technical Strategy for Malaria uh, 2016 to 2030. The Global Technical Strategy for Malaria was adopted by the WHO Assembly in May 2015. It provides comprehensive framework to guide countries in their efforts to accelerate progress towards malaria elimination. The strategy sets the target of reducing global malaria incidence and mortality rates by at least 90% by 2030. So the WHO was developed, uh, strategy was developed in close alignment with the rollback malaria partnerships action investment or to defeat malaria 2016 uh, through 2030 for a malaria free world to ensure shared goals and complementarity. There are the uh, principles as well, basically including all countries can accelerate efforts towards elimination through combinations of invention to all, uh, tailored to local contests. The second one is the country ownership and the leadership with involvement and participation of communities are essential to accelerating progress through a multi-sectoral approach. The improvement, surveillance, monitoring, and evaluation, as well as satisfaction, certification by malaria disease burden, are required to optimize the implementation of malaria interventions. The fourth one is the equity in access to services, especially for the most vulnerable and hard to reach populations, is essential. The fifth is innovation in tools and implementation approaches will in, uh, enable countries to maximize their progress along the path to elimination. The malaria elimination reflected in GTS structure pillars and supporting elements. So here are the three pillars: the the GT uh, the global techno, uh, technical strategy for malaria. 2016 to 2030 has following three pillars. Uh, the first one tells us the, uh, to ensure universal access to malaria prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. The second is to accelerate efforts towards elimination and attainment of malaria-free status. And the third is to transfer malaria surveillance into a core intervention. The supporting element one uh, is the harassing innovation and expanding research. And supporting element two is strengthening the enabling environment. GTS vision, goal, milestones, and targets. So here are some of the goals as well. Uh, you can see the milestones. Uh, by 2025 and 2030, and the goal third and fourth clearly uh, administers how to eliminate malaria. Recent updates: chloroquine resistant, uh, chloroquine resistance, plasmodium uh, uh, in Pakistan, plasmodium falciparum in Pakistan. Poor or presumptive diagnosis by uh, untrained lab personnel who can misdiagnose p falciparum and mix infection leads to improved medication. The migration of Afghan uh, refugees and other international displacement of people uh, from war zones and highly endemic uh, malaria areas to other parts of nation presents challenges for surveillance. The massive uh, amount of agricultural and, uh, and uh, available for mosquito breeding sites, the uh, scarcity of insecticides and bed nets and people's, uh, and the people's uh, reluctance to use them and poor sanitation and stagnant water impede uh, elimination. Pakistan seems to be entering an age of advanced drug resistance in which more therapies are essential preventive measures that are effective for confronting the 
mutant malaria uh, species. Policymakers should consider the overlooking overlook pattern of malaria when uh, remulating the fee falciparum control strategies and initiating research products to gain detailed insight into drug resistance chains through random sampling of endemic areas. Otherwise, malaria in Pakistan will be more deadly. Uh, the second one is the mapping genetic markers of RT, myosinian uh, resistance in P, uh, plasmodium uh, falciparum malaria in Asia, systematic review, and spe uh, spatiotemporal analysis. There was study in uh, increase in the prevalence of WHO validated uh, K13 markers with the lowest of 4.3% in, in 2005 and the highest of 62.9% in 2018. Overall, the prevalence of CIS 580 tyrosinase mutation, the study aimed to develop up to date spatial uh, distribution visualization of the K13 gene markers of artemisinin resistance to P falciparum for policymakers. Now time for the MCQs. The first one is the malaria is endemic in many countries and is reported to uh, be a leading cause of death from parasitic infection, killing millions of uh, people globally, the greatest number of deaths occurring in Africa. What is the following age group of people have a high death rate? A, 10 to 15 years of age, B, more than five years, C, more than, less than 40, D, 10 to 25 years of age, two, uh, and the E is 20 to 30 years. Anyone? Uh, it's B, more than five years of age. The second is, which of the following statement regarding prevention of malaria is true? A combination of preventive measures is most effective. DDT is still uh, commonly used to do, uh, to kill mosquitoes. Third is low tech, uh, tech preventive, uh, like nets are really effective at limiting uh, bites. Third is, the D includes the preventive measures are not very effective in case of, P, uh, of the falciparum plasmodium. The E is a combination of preventive measures is not effective. Anyone? It's uh, A, the com uh, combination of preventive measures is most effective. Third, all the following statements regarding recurrent malaria, re uh, uh, recurdescence, and reinfection are correct except A, some patients develop malaria uh, again after a period. B, recurdescence is due to the insufficient treatment relapses due to the reappearance of the mirocytes from the hyp uh, hypnocytes. C, it can be seen in all plasma species causing malaria. The highest rate of relapses occurs uh, with malaria caused by PIVAVIX, E, none. Uh, it's C? Yes, it's C. Uh, it can be seen in all plas plasmodium species causing malaria. Uh, fourth, the uh, the uh, the infections when infected with uh, P. falciparum, the parasite grow and uh, infect mainly red uh, cells. Uh, red cells. A person can develop severe infection when infected with P. falciparum. The parasites grow and infect mainly red blood cells and liver cells, and uh, and in severe cases may even invade all uh, the invade the central nervous system the malaria complication can lead to hemolytic anemia and symptoms like jaundice discoloration of the urine can be seen um, which of the following terms has been applied to the type of complication caused by p falciparum a rift valley fever b yellow fever c black water fever d calazar and e hemorrhagic fever anyone okay. yes it's black uh, black water fever c Fifth, the malaria drug uh, hydroxychloroquine was falsely reported, reported to be effective in which type of viral infection in 2020? A, dengue, B, influenza, C, COVID-19, D, swine flu, or E, hepatitis? C. Yes, it's C. Sixth, in 2021, WHO uh, has recommended the first ever vaccine against malaria. Which of the following age group of people can get the dose of vaccine who are living in the malaria epidemic regions? A. Children 5 months to 10 years, B, 15 years and older, C, 60 years and older, D, infants only, E, adults only. A. Yes, it's A. Uh, seventh, thin uh, blood uh, smear film for malaria parasites is used to determine A, malaria parasites presence, B, to confirm the plasmodium species, C, malaria parasites absence, malaria, uh, uh, D, malaria parasites presence and confirmation of plasmodium species, E, malaria parasites absence. Anyone? B. Yes, it is B, the, to confirm the plasmodium species. Eight, which of the following symptoms are the most common in people who are infected with malaria? With malaria, uh, A, muscle uh, aches and low-grade fever, B, rashes and uh, swollen legs and hands, C, mouth rashes and itchy skin, uh, D, high-grade fever and chills, E, five, uh, fever allergy. B. Yes, it's D, uh, high-grade fever and chills. Ninth is the treatment of uncomplicated falciparum malaria in adults, in, excluding pregnant women, is tablet chloroquine, tablet primaquine, tablet sulfidoxin. Uh, pyramethamine and artisanate, tablet uh, quinine, dihydrochloride, E is tablet uh, dequinine. That's Charlie. Tablet sulfidoxin, pyramethamine, and artisanate. Tenth is the development of malaria vaccine has faced several obstacles. The lack of traditional, uh, traditional market, few developers, and the technical complexity of developing any vaccine against the parasite. Vaccination against malaria is not successful, A, because it does not produce antibodies or any toxins, B, 
plasmodium uh, produced minute uh, uh, minute antibodies and c plasmodium produced antitoxins d plasmodium versus uh, virus is vulnerable to heat e plasmodium virus is not vulnerable to heat anyone e uh, no it's a because it does not produce antibodies or antitoxins here is the key of the mcqs thank you so much everyone here is the youtube link uh, kindly like and subscribe and thank you so much